Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, I am going to do a beginner friendly makeup kit slash makeup look. So I'm going to be talking through a bunch of different products that I'll be applying on my face. I'll be having like a high end version and a more affordable alternative for you guys if you ever want to start dipping your toes into makeup pero ayaw mo pa gumastos ng super laki and you just want to test it out first. So I have the affordable alternatives. Also, I just want to point out that it doesn't mean na mas affordable siya is mas mababa yung quality niya or if mas mahal siya, mas mataas yung quality niya. A lot of these products really coincide with each other na halos kapantay lang yung quality. Sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, mas, ma, mas tumatagal lang sa face ko yung isang product. Pero a lot of these products are good for everyday use. Kumbaga, Kunyari, mag-office ka lang, sa school ka lang, ganyan. So, a lot of these products I definitely use for everyday but not for like glam makeup look. So, this is the makeup look that I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate. So, if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, as usual, mag-start tayo sa brow. So, this is something new that I've been doing and the discover ko na mas maganda yung or mas madali din yung pag-apply ng brow products sa brows and mas madali mag-fill in kapag ginagamitan ko muna siya ng primer or ng clear brow gel. So I have two right here. So for the high-end side, we're using the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. So for the more affordable side naman, ang gagamitin ko is yung Essence Slash and Brow Gel Mascara. So the way that I like to do it is, para ka lang nagsuspuli ng brow. So ikukol mo lang siya para mag-shape siya sa kung ano mang gusto mong maging itsura ng brows mo. So, what I usually do is, yun nandito sa may gitna, kinukomb ko pataas. Tapos, pagpapunta sa dulo, pataas lang para mas magmukha siyang natural tsaka medyo bushy siya. Tapos, so, ginagawa ko pataas lang para medyo bushy. So, ganyan na yung magiging itsura niya after nyo ikom and then you're just gonna let that dry for a hot minute. And then, gawin naman natin yung sa affordable side. So like I said, Essence Slash and Brow Gel Mascara. So ito naman, may spoolie siya. Ayan. So mas madali to gamitin kasi para ka lang talagang nagko-comb ng brows using a spoolie. Kasi nga, ganito yung brush niya as opposed to dun sa Bravo. Ang pinagkaiba lang, yung Bravo, medyo mas mabilis siya mag-set or mas mabilis siya matuyo. So pag nagmamadali ka, perfect. Ito kasi, it takes a while bago siya mag-dry up. And pag finil in mo yung brows mo agad, bago pa mag-dry tong gel, parang kumakalat lang yung product and hindi hindi siya mag-work as na mag-shape niya yung brows mo. Tapos yun na lang if, yung if follow mo when you're filling it in. Ayan o, no, dry na yung brow mo. Tapos mas stiff na siya. Ito sobrang wet and soft pa. So, we're gonna let that sit for a bit and we're gonna prime our face. Ngayon, pag everyday makeup yung ginagawa ko, hindi na ako nagpa-primer. What I like to use is a primer spray. So, yes, primer pa rin siya, pero ito na din yung gagamitin kong setting spray later. But anyway, one of my favorites is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Setting Spray. So, primer na siya, setting spray, and refreshing spray din siya. One of my other favorites is yung J-Cat Beauty na Rose Water Primer. Sobrang ganda rin nun and nakaka-moisturize siya talaga ng face. And you guys know that I do have dry skin. Not really dry skin, pero normal to dry yung skin ko. So, during the summer time, hindi ko na kailangan gumamit ng sobrang daming moisturizer. And, ang ginagamit ko na lang is yung primer spray. Tapos, diretso na ako sa makeup. So, ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon. Spritz mo lang yan all over your face. And then, you're gonna let that dry. Now, while my skin is absorbing that primer spray, if you fill in na natin yung brows. So, I love the benefit precisely my brow because it has like a nice thin pencil which makes really nice precise brow strokes na mamimimic niya talaga yung natural brow hairs mo. And of course, it has that spoolie on the other side. So, it's easy to spread out the product. I use the shade number 5. Tapos, I start off on the tail end of my brows. So, what I like to do is I start here. Tapos, literal, gumagawa lang ako ng lines. Tapos, if flick mo lang yung pencil. Doing so, mas magmumukha siyang natural and mag mas mamimimic niya yung natural brow hairs. Nakikita nyo ba? Nakashape na siya. So, follow nyo na lang. So, light hand lang. Tapos, flick nyo lang yung pencil. Para hindi siya mukhang nag-color lang kayo ng ganon. Mas mumukha siyang totoong brow hair. Tapos dito naman sa gitna, yung gusto mo kasi, mas light yung gitna kesa dun sa tail end para mukha talaga siyang natural. So, light hand lang. 
little strokes upward. Yan. Tapos, I go back in with my spoolie. So, for anything na too dark, I just brush that up. Para spread yung product and mag lighten up. So, there. Ayan. Ito na yung filled in na brow. Tapos, ito, aayusin na natin yan. So, a more affordable option is, hindi siya drugstore, pero mas mura siya, and maganda rin naman. So, now we're using the Sunny Space Life Brow Pencil. Ayan, as you can see, yung pencil niya, thin, very thin and precise din. I'm using the shade Taupe. Sobrang close nung thickness nung Sunny Space dito sa Precisely My Brow. Maganda rin naman yung spoolie nung Sunny Space. Ayan, manipis lang siya. And hindi siya masyadong matigas na nakaka-prick siya ng... Um, ng skin. Let's fill in this brow naman. Same thing lang. Flick, flick, flick. So, medyo mas dark tong shade number 5 kasi ng, um, ng Precisely My Brow. Akala ko kasi dati shade number 5 ako, pero since nagkaroon sila ng mga 0.5 na shades, 3.5 lang pala ako. And dati kasi wala nun. So, kaya ayan, kung nakikita nyo, mas vivid and mas dark to. Pero, mali yan. Dapat 3.5 lang yung shade ko. But anyway, ayan na siya pareho. I've been doing this recently lang because I feel like mas malinis, mas malinis and mas, mas maganda yung pagkakashape ng brows ko when I carve it out with a concealer. So, I usually use my Tarte Shape Tape kasi inuubos ko na lang yun. Hindi ko na siya ginagamit sa under eyes ko. Nag-expire na yata yun. Ang tagal ko nang meron nun. So, I just use it to um, carve out my brows. Pero since we're doing this video today and I want to keep the products minimal, na iilad lang, ang gagamitin natin na concealer is the same concealer that we're gonna use for concealing our face or our under eyes later. So for the high-end side, I am using the Benefit Boing Concealer. I love this concealer. It's very comparable to my Too Faced Born This Way. Yun nga lang, hindi siya as um, full coverage, more of medium everyday coverage talaga siya. And then I'm just using this angled brush from Sigma. So, you dip ka lang ng konting konte. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then you're gonna start from the bottom. Tapos, iti trace mo lang yung brows mo. Tapos yung arc. Ayan. Just once you have the product here, what you're gonna do is you start at the top and then flick it going down. Para ma blend siya and hindi naman masyadong harsh yung line ng pagkaka-carve out mo ng brows. Also, kapag kunyari hindi ka pa nakakapag-block ng brows, maganda rin to kasi medyo nakoconceal niya yung mga kalat around your brows. So, sometimes I would do yung upper area ng brow ko din pero onting-onti lang. Like, kunyari, ayan, may lumampas ako dyan ng brow product carve out ko lang siya para mas clean. So do you see the difference of like ha carving it out with a concealer and not carving it out with a concealer? Maganda siya full pero medyo messy whereas pag kinarve out mo siya ng concealer talagang black brows. And since natural or everyday makeup look to, hindi naman tayo mag eye shadow. So okay na na yung um, focal point ng face mo is yung brows na maganda siya and precise. Anyways, affordable side naman gagamitin ko is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Love this concealer. It's very lightweight and sobrang blendable niya. It doesn't crease din. Pero yun nga lang, sobrang hindi siya pang full coverage. So pag madami kang i-co-conceal or madami kang tinatago, hindi siya uubra. So same thing lang. Okay, so there is my finished brows. Mas vivid lang talaga itong si Benefit Precisely My Brow, pero I still like the both sides. Oh yeah, so we're done with the brows na. Ngayon, it's time for the face makeup. So like I said, we're gonna conceal my under eyes lang. I like the look of concealing my under eyes just because it makes me look more awake. Especially pag, you know, may all-nighter ka, nagpupuyat ka sa pag-aaral. Conceal mo na lang yan, yung mga bags mo. So for the high-end side, we're using the Benefit Boing Concealer. It's very lightweight. 
This is a recent release lang from Benefit Cosmetics. I just got yung mini version niya just because I have a lot of other concealers. Tapos gusto ko lang talaga siya itry. So, if gusto nyong itry ito and ayaw, ayaw nyo munang i-purchase yung full size na concealer, then perfect kasi meron silang mga um, trials, not trial size, but travel size version that's good for trying the product out. Kasi medyo mahal nga naman siya. What if it doesn't work? So, ayan. Dinot ko lang siya sa under eye ko. Tapos, I'm just using my ring finger and lightly tapping and blending that all over my under eye. Actually, medyo naparami nga ako. Usually, hindi ganyan kadami yung nilalagay ko. Mga isang dot lang. So, ilalagay na lang natin sa may eyelid yung sobra. Guys, pag nilagay niyo to, huwag, ganun, huwag kasing dami na nilagay ka. Usually, isang dot lang talaga nilalagay ko na parami lang talaga. On the more affordable side, ang gagamitin naman natin is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So, ito, mas sheer yung coverage niya. Pero, pwede na kung wala ka namang masyadong um, dark under eyes, okay na siya. Ako kasi medyo napansin ko lang may onting redness yung, yung under eye area ko. So, gusto kong kinoconceal yan. Dagdagan natin ng onting onti pa. So now that we blend in our concealer, we need to set it. So for my entire face, I'm just using a sort of powder foundation. So for my high-end side, I'm using the Benefit Hello Happy Powder Foundation. And so for the more affordable side, I'm using this Generation Happy Skin Stay Fresh Weightless Pressed Powder. So itong si Hello Happy, meron siyang kasamang sponge and a brush as well. I don't really use this the brush. Ang ginagamit ko lang is yung sponge. So, I use the shade number 4 sa Benefit Hello Happy. And I really love this because it gives my face like a nice medium coverage. It blurs out my imperfections but it doesn't really cover it up. So, first I'm taking a fluffy this is actually a highlighter brush pero ito yung gusto kong ginagamit to set my under eyes. So, I don't really use the sponge to set my under eyes kasi it's gonna move the concealer. So, I'm just lightly setting that using this powder. And then for the rest of my face, kasi hindi nga tayo foundation so we need more coverage, I'm just using the sponge. So as you can see, I have veins there, a little bit of redness. So para magpantay yung skin, kagamitan lang natin ng powder foundation. So why powder foundation? Bakit hindi ako gumagamit ng liquid? It's because mas madali tayo apply and mas madali siya for everyday. Also, pag ginamit mo to, hindi mo na kailangan mag-layer ng product. So kung gumamit ka ng liquid foundation, syempre kailangan mo pa yan iset ng powder para hindi siya humulas throughout the whole day. And our whole goal with this makeup tutorial is simplify your routine for every day. May redness din ako sa main nose area right here. So, usually dyan ka build up yung product. Of course, huwag natin kalimutan yung neck area. Okay, so this is the side with powder foundation, and then this is the side without. So, dito gagamitin natin, like I said, is yung Generation Happy Skin. So, the only difference between these two powders is the fact na ito mas sheer coverage siya compared dun sa Benefit Hello Happy. Ito kasi mapapa medium mo siya na mabablur out niya talaga yung imperfections. Itong Generation Happy Skin, napansin ko, mas, mas sheer siya, whereas you really, really have to build up the product to cover up any redness, ganyan. Pero, maganda pa rin naman siya. And for the price, hindi rin siya drying. For someone who has like a normal to dry skin tone, skin type, sorry. And even though it's marketed as a matte powder, I don't really find it too mattifying on my skin. Ayan na, tignan nyo. So dito, ba hindi na sobrang kita ng redness sa may nose area ko. Dito, kitang kita pa siya. So dapat ba concealer ko yun? <laughs> so, of course, yung forehead para pantay. Okay. 
Okay, so my face is looking a little flat. So, lagyan natin ng onting shape. Magbo-bronze na tayo. So, yung bronzer na gagamitin ko dito doubles as my contour powder na din. So, hindi siya super warm. It has a cool undertone to it. So, ito na din yung magka-contour ng face ko. So, for the high-end side, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Super love this. I actually use the brush with this. And as you can see, I've hit pan on this one na. Meron pa akong mini sa um, makeup collection ko. So, hindi ko pa kailangang bumili ng bago. But... I love this because what matte lang siya, wala siyang any shimmer or sparkle ganyan and it's perfect to contour and bronze my skin. So what I like to do is yan, yung buong line na yan hanggang diyan lang ako magbo-bronze. Huwag sobrang lapit sa may lips para hindi naman siya super chiseled ng look and mukha pa rin siyang natural. Yan. Tapos pag bine-blend niyo siya pataas. Tapos of course yung temples. Of course, yung, no, yung neck. Gusto ko din na nilalagyan niya ng onting bronzer para hindi naman super magkaiba nung color nung face ko and nung neck ko. And then, a little bit on the nose din. So, kung ano lang natira na product dun sa brush, yun lang yung nilalagay ko sa main nose area. As you can see, yes, ba Ang different niya, kasi parang ito, may dimension compared dito sa side na to. So, sa more affordable side naman, I'm using the Vice Cosmetics um, Aura Contour in the shade For Sure. To be honest, nung unas, parang skeptical ako sa product na to. Pero in fairness, maganda yung shade niya and it's very comparable to the Benefit Hula. When it comes to the longevity naman, tumatagal siya, pero hindi siya kasing like vivid nung Benefit Hula by the end of the day. And of course, since wala siyang kasamang brush, gagamitan ko pa siya ng angled contour brush. So, swirl ko lang dyan yung brush ko. And then, same thing. Huwag super lapit sa lips. Onti lang. ba? Sobrang comparable ng shade niya. Tapos, of course, yung nose. So, gusto ko lang nilalagyan ng contour and bronzer din yung nose para yung shape niya mas medyo malapit kasi yung nose ko lalo na pagdating dito sa area na to. So, gusto ko na medyo pinapa... Hindi naman pinapaliit pero mas may sh maganda lang yung shape. So, now let's add some color to our face. So, I'm using the Generation Happy Skin Kiss and Bloom Water Tint on the more high-end side because mas expensive to dun sa isa kong gagamitin dito ng mga twice as much din. Kaya ako gagamit ng tint is because mas natural yung look nito and for a more youthful glow kesa sa powder. So, super pigmented nito kaya mag-iingat kayo when you're using it. So, what I like to do is I smile tapos on the apples of my cheeks I put like two dots lang kasi nga super pigmented nito. Tapos, I use my ring finger again to just blend it all over my face. And, kita nyo, after na to ng powder, usually kasi pag mga tint, dapat before siya ng powder, kasi hindi siya magbe-blend ng maayos. Itong product na to, kahit naka-powder na yung skin ko, madali pa rin siyang i-blend. And, hindi naman niya namumove yung powder. Nice, flushed look lang talaga siya. And, tumatagal siya throughout the entire day. So, for the more affordable side, I'm using naman the Caroline Jelly Tint. Ito, 125 pesos lang yata to. Tapos, 2 years pa yung shelf life niya. So, sobrang worth it. Yun lang, apply mo muna sa back ng hand mo. Small dot lang talaga. Kasi, napansin ko sa mga tint, super pigmented nila. And, pag madami, masyado kang madami nalagay, hindi na siya natural looking. So, same thing. Ibe-blend ba lang all over? Yung main difference nitong dalawa is itong Generation Happy Skin. Nagagamit ko din siya sa lips ko pag tinatamad ako mag-makeup. Pero itong Jelly Tint ng Caroline, ayokong nilalagay siya sa lips ko kasi I don't really find it that hydrating or I find it drying actually on my lips. Pero itong Generation Happy Skin kasi cheeks or lips, gumagana siya. So now, tapos na tayo sa entire face natin. I'm not gonna put highlighter because I don't really use highlighter every day when I was in college and hot and humid na sa Philippines. So, hindi mo na talaga kailangan ng highlighter. What you need is a nice setting spray that's gonna give you that nice dewy look. So, what I like to use ka is yung Wet n Wild na Photo Focus Setting Spray. So, since we have a couple of powders on our face like yung pressed powder and yung um, bronzer, maganda to kasi may melt in niya yung powder sa face mo para mas maganda yung lapat and mas natural yung itsura. So, spray lang natin. 
So we're gonna have to let that dry first before we apply some mascara. So if you apply mascara right before you use the setting spray, tendency is magsa smudge yung mascara mo all over your face kasi mababa sa siya, de ba? Kahit pa waterproof yan, kapag bagong apply mo lang nung mascara, tapos nag setting spray ka, girl, sayang yung mi makeup mo, uulitin mo siya lahat. So now that my setting spray has sunk in my face, curl ko na yung lashes. I'm using my favorite eyelash curler. This is the Shuemura eyelash curler. So what you're gonna wanna have to do is, de ba ganyan lang. Um, so when you curl it, one, two, and then tilt it like 45 degrees ba to? And then tilt it again. Para yung curl niya. As in, nakaakyat talaga siya, di ba? So, for the high-end side, I'm using the Bad Girl Bang. Mini lang din to, kasi hindi naman talaga ako mahilig sa high-end mascaras. Usually, mga mascara ko is uh, more affordable or drugstore lang. Siguro yung pinakamahal ko na or yung hindi nabibili sa drugstore in the Philippines, ah, heroin make. And favorite ko talaga yon. Maganda rin tong si Bad Girl Bang. Kasi nakaka-volumize talaga siya ng lashes. When applying your mascara, what you want is you start dun sa pinaka-root. Tapos dun yung i-build. Huwag dito sa ends kasi it's gonna weigh your lashes down. Tapos always apply mascara on your lower lashes as well. And I know magiging mahirap mag-apply ng mascara sa lower lashes kapag masyadong mataba yung brush ng mascara mo. May mga iba dyan na mascara. May talaga siya for your lower lashes. Pero bakit ka pa bibili ng dalawang products, diba? If magagamit. If kaya mo naman magawa yun with just one product. So now, let's go over to this um, this eye. So, for the more affordable side naman, I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Hindi ko na kailangan i-explain to Guys, forever kong favorite to. Yun nga lang, medyo chunky yung brush niya, as you can see. So, medyo mahihirapan ako sa lower lashes. Pero sa taas, okay lang. So, I would highly recommend yung Heroin Make Mascara. Pero yun nga, hindi mo siya mabibili like sa Watsons. Ganyan. So, I tried my best sa mga products na nag-recommend ko sa tutorial na to. Is, madali mo siya mabili. Meron sa Watsons, Lazada or online na, you know, within reach siya. Itong L'Oreal Lash Paradise, kapag ginamit mo siya ng una, as in fresh out of the tube, hindi mo siya magugustahan. You need to wait at least one week after opening. Tapos, mas perfect na siya kasi it needs to dry out a little bit to get that nice formula. So, ito na yung final look. Magli-lipstick na ako. For lipstick, wala akong high-end na lipstick because hindi rin ako mahilig sa high-end lipsticks. I usually just buy like Sunny's Face, Happy Skin, or Maybelline. Ang dami kong lipsticks na ganun. So, hindi, like I said, hindi ako mahilig sa high-end lipsticks. So, what I'm using is is my new found favorite. This is from the Sunny's Face Nude-ish Collection in the shade Casual. So here is the finished makeup look. Like I said, it's a very natural everyday makeup lang and super dali lang niya. You're not gonna be using a ton of different products and ito yung mga products na naisip ko na essential talaga sa makeup routine and a lot of the products that I use doubles na siya as like kunyari, yun nga, yung bronzer, it's a contour and bronzer in one na, like yung pressed powder, yun na din yung magko-cover and magsiset to entire face mo. Okay siya because it's beginner friendly, hindi mo kailangan bumili ng madaming items or madaming products and madali lang siya i-apply mabilis lalo na sa morning kapag nagbabadali ka. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you like this makeup look. If you ever try it, go post it on Instagram and tag me, Eunice Cat Beauty on Instagram. I'd love to see all your recreations of this look. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it very helpful and I hope you learned something new. And once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!